10 years ago tonight, some parts of northeastern and central Pennsylvania were underwater. Tropical Storm Lee dumped inches of rain on our area, leading to some of the worst flooding since Agnes. One of the hardest hit communities was West Pittston, and that's where Newswatch 16's Carolyn Blackburn joins us live. Carolyn. Scott and Lisa, many people who live along the water right here in West Pittston still remember where they were on September 7th, 2011. It's a day that's had a lasting impact on people. It was 10 years ago that raging floodwaters from the Susquehanna River decimated homes and businesses in West Pittston. Borough officials say nearly 900 residents dealt with serious flood damage from Tropical Storm Lee. Peggy Burke, who lives right across the street from the river, was one of them. We had five feet on the first floor and uh, we escaped out the back because it was coming around, uh, kind of surrounding our house like an island. Michael Orlowski is a general contractor. He did insurance estimates for nearly 100 homeowners here. He also lives along the street. There was a few that were second floor, so you know it's quite a bit. It was a lot of damage. There was a lot of water here. Antonio's Pizza on Luzerne Avenue was closed for two years to repair all the damage from the storm. We had to buy some new equipment. We refurbished old equipment. You know, everything else, pretty much everything is new. A possible solution for the flooding? Putting up a levee. Some people are in favor of it. So that we don't have another, <laughs> another catastrophic flood. But that's not the case for everyone. It's just a beautiful street. It's been that way since the early 1800s. And I don't know if they put a levy in. I think it's going to take a lot of that away. But I also have to feel for everybody else. Others won't hold their breath. It'd be great. They're doing. I've been here. I've been working here 20 years, and that's all I talk about. The 2011 flood wasn't the only natural disaster here in the past decade. There was also an ice jam here in January of 2018. Some people were forced to leave their homes because of it. Now, whether it's a levee or dredging the Susquehanna Riverbed, some people who live here just hope something is done soon to help. Carolyn Blackburn, Newswatch 16, live here in Luzerne County.